Hey, so it's been a long time since I've seen y'all. I want to apologize. I've been really out of it. I've been sleeping. I've been having migraines quite a bit recently, and my cats are going crazy. Don't forget to subscribe and follow me on Instagram. So I just want to put a disclaimer out there. Um, this is not an official diagnosis. We're using this as a way to describe it and talk about it. So just know that this could change at any moment. Um, just like what's going on with me. You know, when it first started, it was just my arms going up and down and having a um, grunting kind of noise and now it's progressed into so many different noises and happens more often and I'm louder to the point where I'm like holy shit you're loud um I don't think I would ever feel comfortable going to a movie theater I would I would feel rude I'm pretty sure there's some way to like there's something protecting me to be able to go to one but I would feel rude I'm that loud I like I've always watched subtitles but like I need the subtitles even more because I can't hear what I'm watching over my own self um, which is frustrating I don't have it constantly as you can see I can talk which I'm very thankful for that but I get them about every 10 minutes um, one here or there and then every now and then throughout the day I'll have a, a whole like explosion of them for about five or ten minutes and um it's frustrating and annoying but i'm handling it so um five days until i see my doctor and talk to her about this and see what she's got to say and so um hopefully she's got me she's got some answers finally and we can start working on something else um really trying to get my heart I need to go see that heart guy still, so to like so bleh. I really need to go see that heart guy still, so I can get my endoscopy done because I still haven't done that, and that was like supposed to be done months ago, and I still haven't done it. So, like, I'm tired of waiting, but we'll get there, slow step, baby steps, and I've had a few things that I assume are tick attacks that I'm recorded for y'all. Um, one of them I recorded for Instagram, so it's was recorded up and down sorry about that um but um i'm really sorry i took sumatriptan and sumatriptan makes me out of it so i can barely keep my eyes open um it's friday right now so i have really no idea when you're gonna see this hopefully soon um i make i'm um really close on finishing my stimming video that i've been working on making um, the hardest part about doing that is that one of the stimming things that I want to record is right before I go to sleep and I got to record the stimming and then not fall asleep when I'm stimming so that I don't like let my phone die and then because then that can mess up the video I've done that before and it messes the video up like it doesn't save or something so it's not that hard it's just like when I stim I get so fucking relaxed and, um, <laughs> try not to fall asleep is hard. So, anyway, um, I've also kind of had another hang-up on it that I'll talk about in that video, too, before y'all see the stimming and stuff. Um, I'm hoping I can record myself be excited and stimming excitedly. But I want it to be authentic. I don't want it to fake it. So trying to get the camera up when I'm excited in time to actually capture an authentic moment has been hard too. So I haven't figured out how to do that yet. Um, I might like record myself watching a movie or something and maybe I'll get excited. Um, but yeah, so hopefully I can get that done. If not, maybe... I'll imitate it for y'all. I really don't know. I don't. I feel weird about that. I want it to be authentic and um, and me actually stimming and not me forcing it out on myself. If that makes sense. Um, 
But yeah, I keep getting ideas for videos and then I just haven't filmed them because I'm procrastinating and sleeping. Like one night I slept 17 hours straight. Um, I woke up to go to the restroom, but that's a long time to sleep. Um, and I didn't even take any sumatriptan at that point yet. That was just when my migraine started. So that was about four or five days ago. Um, something like that. It's been a long time. Um, but I'm going to let y'all watch these videos. And, um, yeah. Right, again, before, um, I guess like a, a disclaimer, ticks or um, Tourette's is not officially diagnosed. We're using ticks as a um, symptom diagnosis because that's what this is most likely. Previously, we thought it was myoclonic jerks because it looked like dystonia. And um, my doctor also thought it was seizures, um, but that was ruled out. So Tourette's is kind of the only thing I think that they have less. Like there's could be Parkinson's disease, but I don't think Parkinson's disease is, makes you have vocal auditory tics, I think, or whatever they're called. Because I have um, sounds. I'm saying no now. And um, what do you call it? <laughs> motor body I can't think at all today um, you, hopefully you know what I'm talking about
No! So in five days, I see my um, neurologist, and we'll talk to her and uh, see what sh we're going to do. And um, I really think she's going to diagnose me with Tourette's, but we'll see. She might want to do more tests related on the certain blah 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 uh, thingy, involuntary movements and sounds. Um, <laughs> not really sure. but. Um, I have them uh, about every 10 minutes, so most of the time I can talk without having one. So I'm probably going to see you on my next doctor's appointment. So um, I hope everybody's having an amazing day today. Don't forget that I love you and thank you for being here. And have a nice night. Bye.